Okay, Bolo Buddies, in this video, it's going to be a little different. I am going to show you different ways that you can use List Perfectly. And I haven't done a video like this. Typically, I start on eBay and then I cross post to the other platforms. I'm going to show you that at the end of the video, but I'm going to show you how to create a listing from your phone and put it into directly into the List Perfectly catalog. That's the first thing we're going to do. Then, I am going to show you how to take that item from the List Perfectly catalog and list the item over to eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to take your pre-existing items from eBay and put them into the List Perfectly catalog and then cross post from the List Perfectly catalog over to Poshmark and Mercari. And then the final demo is what you guys have seen me do before. That is where I just start my listing on eBay and then I cross post directly to Poshmark and Mercari, completely bypassing the catalog. So let's talk about some options today. Let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, so if you're new here, you just saw my trailer or my intro, and my channel is all about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a nice profit. Um, I always say buy low, sell high. That is the basis of my channel, but I also share with my viewers things that I use to make my life easier and list perfectly makes my life easier. Um, if you watch this video and you like what you see and you would like to try List Perfectly, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. All right, so we are going to go right into me going into my phone and creating a listing directly into the List Perfectly catalog. Let's get started. Okay, so I went to listperfectly.com through my browser and it brought me right here to my create a listing. And I am in my photos. I am going to scroll down. I'm going to find the pictures that I want. And I am going to add those into the List Perfectly catalog. So it's going to automatically load those for me. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to create my title. So basically, instead of doing this in eBay, I am just creating my listing in the List Perfectly catalog. So starting my listing here. So I'm going to create my title. And then I always just copy and paste my title into the first part of my description. And then I follow up with pre-owned, please see photos for condition and measurements. That is what I do with hard goods. Now, if I'm doing clothing, I add all the measurements and stuff like that. All right, so I'm copying. And then I'm going to add that to my description with the paste button. And then add the little, what I always write there, pre-owned, please see photos for condition and measurements. All right, once we do that, we're going to scroll down and we're going to fill in some more information. So basically, I'm just loading the catalog with the information that it is requesting. And then we are going to cross post from the catalog over to Mercari and Poshmark. Those are my three main platforms, Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay. I sometimes do a little bit of Etsy and a little bit of Facebook, but I usually stick with the main three. There are lots of options with List Perfectly. All right. So now I'm putting in what I want my price to be. And then I'm going to scroll on down and I'm going to save this. This is some other features that you can use, but I'm just filling in the necessary part. That's if you want to mark where it sold at, if it sold once it sells. You can keep lots of inventory information in here. I have not used that feature yet. I'm just showing you right now how to get your item into the catalog. All right, we are in the catalog, as you can see now. Now I am over on my desktop. So before was my, lap, or my phone, this is my desktop. 
So I am adding to Poshmark and Mercari from the catalog. And it is automatically going to upload this information into Mercari and Poshmark for me. I'm gonna add a few things that are not there on each one. You'll see, I'm gonna show you right here. My title, my description came over. You do have to add the tags. I use the business plan. I probably should upgrade to the pro plan if I'm going to use the catalog. I've never used the catalog in the past, but it has some really great features that I'm missing out on. All right, so you gotta check and make sure that um, the information, uh, the, the brand is correct. And then you put in the condition and your price. A lot of times I will change my price on Mercari from what it is on eBay because um, I do free shipping on Mercari. So I just increase my price to cover the shipping. So now it is the other tab. This is Poshmark and I'm filling in the required information here. And then I'm gonna check my price and hit submit. So these items are now on Poshmark and Mercari. And now I'm adding it to eBay. So in the custom SKU area, I always put where I got the item and how much I paid for it. So this is from a garage sale and I had approximately a quarter in it. So I'll put GS.25 and then I'm also gonna put where this item is. So uh, the reason I do that is because I have always started on eBay and cross posted to the other platforms. If you use the catalog, that information is gonna be in the catalog, which is fantastic. You can also delist from the catalog your items. So if it sells on one platform, you can go in, mark it as sold. It'll pull up the tabs for you and then you just delist them or end the listing. So I'm just filling in the information on eBay. Um, I'm going to, uh, I do accept returns. I do 30 day returns and then I'll change this. For some reason it was on uh, priority mail. So I'm going to switch that to first class because it is um, a lightweight item. Just filling in this information and then I do use promoted listings. I used to do 1.1%. Uh, from what I understand, eBay is taking that option away, but that's fine because I've kind of been playing around with higher percentages just to see if I can get my items in front of more people. And I'm going to talk to you guys about that in another video in the future once I have some more results. Okay, so now what I'm going to show you is I am going to start on, let me pick a category here. Let's go with, um, let's do plush. So I'm in my store, um, my active listings, and I'm going to type plush in here. and it is gonna pull up all of my plush items. So what I'm showing you now is how to get your items. Let's say you have all your items in eBay and you're like, I wanna use List Perfectly and I wanna utilize the catalog. What you're gonna to need to do is take your items from eBay over to List Perfectly. Right now I'm updating my custom SKU just so it shows where the items are. So. The items that I'm getting ready to do, I'm adding LP, PM, and MC, which means List Perfectly, Poshmark, and Mercari. That tells me that those three items, when this item sells, are in those areas, and I need to remo remove them. Again, this is something that I utilize because I do not use the catalog, but in this demo, I'm using the catalog. All right, so I picked these three items and I'm gonna put these first into the List Perfectly catalog from eBay. So if I decided I wanted to get all of my items from eBay into List Perfectly, I have over 5,000 items. So that would take me a long time. So what I'm kind of thinking is I'm going to do this casually and at a slow pace and just kind of try to get some of my listings into the catalog. 
and maybe start creating new listings directly into the catalog like I showed you in the first example. I'm really set in my ways and I really like how I do it, but I know that I'm missing out on a lot of the features like the delist option and all of that. All right, so right now it's just loading into list perfectly. Um, I also feel like this is a little bit slower than if I'm just cross posting directly from eBay to the other platforms, which you're going to see next. Okay, so those three items are now in list perfectly. So what I want to do is I want to get these three items into um, Poshmark and Mercari from list perfectly and they're already in eBay because remember I started on eBay and I took the items into list perfectly. Now we're at the catalog. By doing it this way, all of my items are connected and you see where that said mark as sold. I can now utilize that option if it sells on a platform and it will make it really easy for me to remove my items, delist. It's a fantastic feature that I currently do not use. All right, so now this information for these three listings are uploading to Mercari and Poshmark. So you can see there's six tabs pulled up. So I'm just gonna whip through these really quick because most of the information comes over. I'm gonna fill in what's not there. And then um, again, I update my price on Mercari because I offer free shipping on Mercari and I do not offer free shipping on eBay. As far as that goes, that is a personal choice. I use um, Pirate Ship to ship my items on Mercari. So I, I just feel like the Mercari shipping is kind of high and I can get that rate down and just increase my price to cover the shipping. All right, so now we're doing Poshmark. Poshmark shipping is um, taken care of by Poshmark. The buyer pays it. Now, Poshmark does give you the option to offer free shipping. I do not do that on Poshmark. Again, this, you figure out what works best for you on each platform. eBay, I do calculated shipping. Mercari, I do free shipping on most items. And Poshmark, I just utilize their shipping because their shipping is fantastic for um, items that are five pounds or less. Now, for first class items, you do pay a little more on Poshmark, but let's say you have a board game that's five pounds or four, four and a half pounds. It's so much cheaper to ship those on Poshmark than it is eBay. So um, a lot of people will turn to Poshmark to purchase those items. That's another reason why it's great to have lots of options for your buyers. All right, so again, I'm just filling in the information and then we are gonna go into a demonstration of how I currently use List Perfectly. I start on eBay and then I cross post my items um, in bulk to Poshmark and Mercari. All right, we got this little Merida plush. We're gonna get her cross posted to the other two platforms and then we will go directly into that other demonstration. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. This is just a uh, brief summary of what you can do with List Perfectly. I really just want to show you guys the different options that you have, and you have to do what works best for you. All right, here. We are almost set. So those three items are now going to be on Poshmark, Mercari, and then they were already on eBay. And I did add them into the List Perfectly catalog also. So they are all linked. So let's say this doll sells on Poshmark. I can go in to List Perfectly catalog and hit that mark as sold. It will pull up eBay and Mercari and then I'll just end the listings. So it makes it so much easier to find the items instead of manually um, having to go in and find the item on each platform if you don't use the catalog. All right, so here is the third option. We are going to go over to eBay and I am going to update my custom SKU. I'm going to pick some items here and 
I am not putting these in the catalog. I am just going to cross post directly to Poshmark and Mercari with these items. So I'm adding PMMC to my custom SKU. And again, that is just for my records. That's how I know where my items are, what I paid for them, and where they are currently listed at. I'm going to hit that little tab and then I'm going to select these three items. It's going to open up this area right here and I am going to hit Mercari and Poshmark, submit, and it's going to pull those three items up on both of those platforms. So it's going to open up those windows in my browser. Now again, these items will not be in my catalog, so I will manually have to go into each platform and remove these. I'll have to look for it, do a search in each of my stores, find the item and just delete it. So a little more time consuming on the back end of things like once it sells, where if you're using the catalog, that feature to delist is fantastic. Okay, so now I'm adding my tags, which I decided to change that one. And, um, also with the catalog, they have a new update feature where you can make changes and then hit update and it updates. That is great. Um, they also offer photo room with the pro plan. So when you list, you can use photo room right there in the list perfectly catalog. That is great. Um, that is with the pro plan. And just really going to show you guys what I'm doing here. Again, if you are interested in trying this, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. And feel free to ask any questions that you may have down in the comments. But it's super fast and super easy. And I know if you guys watch me on a regular basis, I talk about, you know, I think it's important to have multiple platforms so all of your eggs are not in one basket um, plus there have been so many times where i have had the items on ebay and they have sat and sat and sat and i will cross post them and they will sell immediately um, different eyes on different platforms the people that shop on ebay may not shop on mercari and poshmark the people on poshmark and mercari might not be on ebay um, also on Mercari and Poshmark, your money goes into like a little bank and you withdraw it when you want. Otherwise it stays in your account and you can use it as a spending credit. So a lot of people just sell stuff to buy stuff. <laughs> they use their, their money as a credit instead of uh, transferring it into their bank account. So, um, they're not going to check eBay because that credit is in that selling platform. So just another reason why you may get a sale on one platform and not another. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, lots of options on ways to use list perfectly. There is no right or wrong way you use it. How, what bets, however best suits you. Um, again, my preference is to start on eBay and cross post to the others, but now that I'm kind of using the catalog, I would really, really love to be utilizing all of those features. Do I want to start over and get everything from eBay that I currently have into list perfectly? I don't know about that. Um, but starting fresh, I could maybe do that and just have it kind of mixed up. But if you only have two, three, four hundred listings, definitely utilize that catalog for sure. Get those items into list perfectly and get them cross posted. All right, so right there I'm showing you the mark as sold. That's the little button you would click if the item sold on one platform and you wanted to go in and delist it. Great feature. I have never used it because um, I'm not utilizing the catalog. And that is one of the advantages and one of the reasons why I really want to get 
my items into the catalog and start using those features. Over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, I have a video that shows you the different plans and what features are in each plan. And as I stated before, there are so many platforms you can cross post to. Check out this photo to see all of the platforms that List Perfectly offers cross posting to. Okay, again, if you like what you see and you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. Okay, now we're going to go into some video footage that List Perfectly sent me of features that I am currently not using that are fantastic. So be sure to stay tuned and check out these other videos. They are going to be attached right here, right now. In this video here, we're going to show you how to cross post from your List Perfectly catalog into eBay using the sell similar feature on eBay. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to navigate to our List Perfectly extension settings. And we can get there by clicking the List Perfectly icon here, and then we'll click settings. Now, what we want to do is we want to enable this setting here, this copy to open marketplace tab setting. Once we've enabled that, we can go ahead and close this, and now we can move on. So what we want to do is we want to find this exact pair of shoes, and a good way to do that is by copying the item ID there, and we'll go ahead and search eBay for that. Next, what we want to do is we want to sell similar from a listing that has already sold and has good item specifics in it. So we'll go ahead and use this one, for instance. So as we can see here, everything is already filled out, which takes away from having from you as the user having to do it on, on your end. So what we can do now is we can click on the listing and we can click this sell now button here. And what this will do is it will create the listing for you and add all of the item specifics into the listing form. But what you don't get is your images and your description. So now comes in where we need to cross post from our list perfectly catalog into eBay. So we'll navigate back to list perfectly and we'll go to our listings here. Now we will find the pair of shoes that we are trying to cross post, click the cross post icon, and now we will click copy. So now with the copy to open marketplace tab setting enabled, all of our images and our description will be added into the listing form. But we also get to keep all of the item specifics that were on the listing that we sold similar to. So now we can go ahead and review, make sure that everything looks good. Once we have done that, we can go ahead and publish our listing. And just like that, we have now cross posted from our list perfectly catalog into eBay using the sell similar feature with the copy to open marketplace tab setting enabled. Once you are done doing this, you will want to navigate back to your list perfectly extension settings and disable copy to open marketplace tab. Once you've done that, simply close out and move on to your next listing. List Perfectly now offers a word alert extension setting that can be enabled in your List Perfectly extension settings. So to enable this setting, you will just simply want to click the List Perfectly icon located in the top right corner of your browser and then click on the settings gear. And then down at the bottom, we can see here the word alert setting right here. We do have it enabled, so we'll just go ahead and close it. If you do not have it enabled, just simply click in the box and you will now have it enabled. Now what we'll do is we will cross post these listings to eBay. With this setting enabled, alerts will display if specific words are detected and found in your description that may cause an issue on certain marketplaces. 
here we see the alert on eBay because my description mentioned Mercari. And this is very helpful as I originated this listing on Mercari and I'm now cross posting it to eBay. And I just simply forgot to take out the mention of Mercari before cross posting. So now that we see this alert pop up in the right hand corner here, we can now just go ahead and navigate to the description and remove the mention of Mercari and then move on with our listing. Now, because I did import all three listings from Mercari, chances are, and as we can see here, I had a mention of Mercari in each of my listings. So we'll just simply remove that and then move on to the next one. So now that we have done that, we can now rest assured that we are not going to be publishing our listings on eBay with the mention of Mercari because it could potentially cause for some issues once our listing is published. And that's how the word alert feature works in your List Perfectly extension settings. With List Perfectly, you can actually choose what title goes to each marketplace. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that here. So as we can see here in our title, this is how it reads. But if we click show all titles, we can now see that there's an option to change what gets cross posted and copied into the listing form on each of these marketplaces. So we'll take Mercari for instance, and we'll go ahead and we'll just make a small change here. And we will do the same for eBay as well. Now that we've made those changes, we will go ahead and click update. And now if we cross post this listing to Mercari and eBay, it will have the title that we have now saved for those specific title fields on those marketplaces. And as we can see here, our change is reflected in the title field. We'll go ahead and take a look at eBay as well. And as we can see here, our change is also reflected here in the title field. And that's how you change your title for each marketplace from your List Perfectly catalog. In this video, we're going to show you how to update a listing in or your listings in bulk from your List Perfectly catalog to eBay. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make some changes here to our title on this listing. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change the price from $89.99 to $84.99. And we'll go ahead and we will click update. Now we will move on to the second one. And we will go ahead and also update the price. And lastly, Okay, so now that we have updated our three listings to have the price that we would like it to change to, as well as added new with tags to each of the each of the titles, now we can go ahead and we can choose the start selecting icon here. We'll click eBay, update, and we're gonna do price, title, and description. And we'll hit confirm update. So now what will happen is, is a new tab will open up our listings will now be updated to show the updated title as well as the price. And as we can see here, we got $84.99 and here we have the new with tags added. Now, what we see here is, oh, a prohibited word was detected in our description. So we'll go ahead and we will remove this. And now we can just simply click update listing 
and move on to the next one. We see our title updated. Again, we do have that word alert there where the list perfectly extension is letting us know that a word that could get flagged by eBay is letting us know to remove that from our description so that we don't get into any sort of trouble. We see our price update. And lastly, we'll move on to this one. We'll check the title. That looks good. We'll go ahead and remove that. There's our price updated. And now we can update listing. And just like that, now we have updated all three listings in eBay from our List Perfectly catalog. In this video, we're going to show you how to import your listings from your unsold listings in eBay into your List Perfectly catalog. So the very first thing you want to do is just navigate to your unsold listings in eBay. Once you are here, what we're going to do is actually we're going to sort by the category sports. And we'll go ahead and search that just so we can kind of isolate what we're trying to import here. So now that we've done that, now we can go ahead and start selecting our listings that we would like to import. And we want these. These three listings here. Now you can choose them in any order you would like. Uh, but once you have made your selections, go ahead and click the cross post icon with the word stop next to it. And then you can go ahead and click the list perfectly icon and then copy. And now what will happen is, is the list perfectly extension will go ahead and gather all of the images and listing details. So that way they can be copied into the listing form on list perfectly. And we can see that happening here in this tab. And it's really nice because everything stays condensed to that one tab until all of those details and images have been gathered. And then we'll start to see new tabs open up for each listing that we have selected. And as we can see here, all of our images and listing details have now been copied into the listing form. And that listing has now been saved into our list perfectly catalog. And now we'll move on to the next one. And then lastly, the third one. And just like that, we have now successfully imported all three listings from our unsold listings in eBay into our List Perfectly catalog. In this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to import your listings from your scheduled listings within eBay to your List Perfectly catalog. So the very first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and click the Start Selecting Cross Post icon here. And now we can go ahead and choose which listings we would like to import to our List Perfectly catalog. So we'll go ahead and choose that baseball there. And we'll go ahead and choose this Coca-Cola listing as well as this Airwick room freshener. Now that we have chosen what listings we would like to, now we can go ahead and click the cross post icon with the word stop next to it. And then we can choose the List Perfectly icon and click copy. Now this is extremely useful for users who say don't list every single day but like to schedule their listings out ahead of time on ebay so that way they have a constant flow of listings um, and, and they're not required to list every single day this allows you to go ahead schedule your listings in ebay and then import them into your list perfectly catalog or you could even cross post them to other marketplaces if you would like. Uh, but for this video, we're, we're showing you how to import the listings. And as we can see here, the first listing has now been imported into our list perfectly catalog. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. And lastly, the third one. And just like that, we have now imported three listings from our scheduled listings in eBay into our List Perfectly catalog. With List Perfectly, you can 
cross post and import your listings from your list perfectly catalog as well as your eBay store from multiple eBay accounts. And that's what we're going to show you how to do today. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and cross post this listing here to our first eBay store. We'll just go ahead and review and make sure that everything looks good. And then we'll go ahead and we'll publish it. Now that this listing has been published on our first eBay store, we'll go ahead and refresh here and make sure that everything looks good. And as we can see here, it is now linked to our first eBay store. So now what we're going to do is we're going to navigate back to eBay and we'll sign out. And then we'll go ahead and sign in to our second eBay account. Now that we're signed in, we'll go ahead and we will cross post another listing to our second eBay account. And just like that, we have now cross posted successfully from one list perfectly catalog to multiple eBay accounts. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.